hello all my mother hi guys welcome to building our home on faith my name is vera i am a mother to five boys and a wife to a wonderful husband we've been married for 13 years welcome to our home where faith is the foundation of that nourishes every corner of my home welcome to my channel god family today you guys are going to be cooking with me actually you guys are going to be baking with me today this dessert that we're about to be making today is my first attempt i had never made this dessert before so it's my first time making this dessert so let's make this dessert together as we build our home and as we make our home i'm a homemaker and also i'm a full-time wife i'm a full-time mom and i'm a full-time working woman okay so i love doing this i love baking for my family i'm a christian so speaking of christian let us dive right into our scripture for today we are going to be reading from james chapter 1 verse 2 and the topic today is staying positive whatever situation you are in stay positive god is with you okay all right so we are going to be reading from james chapter 1 verse 2 and it's trials and temptations trials and temptations okay today chapter 2 said consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds verse 3 because you know that the testing of your faith produces presence let presence finishes its work so that you may become mature and complete not lacking anything verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask god who gives generous to all without finding fault and and it will be given on to you so like i said that is our verse for today temptation and trials we are going to be talking about temptation and trials and how and how to stay positive in your trials and temptation let me tell you guys about three months ago i lost my mother i lost my mother blood to the core hands of cancer and i know what trials and temptation is because when my mother was sick i believe with my whole heart that my mother was going to be made well but we have planned god has his plan god ended up taking my mother unexpectedly with the sickness so in the trials during my trials and my temptations i had to stay positive even though i knew my mother was really sick and even though my mother knows that the doctor have told her that she had less than a month to be on this earth with us she was positive she stayed positive in her trials even though she knew the doctor have told her you are not going to make it this signet you are not going to survive from it and matter of fact you got less than a month to live on this planet earth she stayed positive in my mother house she had poster everywhere a positive poster saying that in God I'm well in the name of Jesus I may well in the name of Jesus I'm healed I'm healed from my head to my toe even when we brought her home knowing fully well that she was not going to be with us she was positive she stayed positive she never lost her faith in God she never one day she never one day looked sad every time we were with our mother she all she was laughing she was making us laugh she was telling us how much she loved us she me and her would lay on the bed she would take her communion she would pray to god we'll read the bible together she never lost her faith what i'm saying to you today my sisters what i'm saying to you today my mother we homemakers we have trials and temptations Taking care of these kids is not easy, especially to all my mother who have that, who have those special kids that they have to be taken care of every day. My auntie had one of those kids, a special kid. We love our cousin. She's so beautiful. 
but my auntie had to go through that trial every day. Some days it's good with her, some days it's not good with my cousin, because some days she will melt down. Like for example, when my mother passed away during her funeral, my cousin started acting up when she sees a lot of cryo. When she sees a lot of cryo, her anxiety goes up, her, the behavior started getting worse. I felt so bad for my auntie because most of the services, she was not in it. She was paying attention to my cousin. She was taking care of my cousin when my cousin was having a meltdown. Everybody was looking at her like, what? Are you okay? What is going on? That's my auntie on the trials and temptation that she has to go through every day. I'm a mom of four boys. Some days I have my good days. I'm a full-time working mom. When I come from work, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I work in a hospital. So when I come from taking care of other people, I have to come and take care of my kids. I get tired. I get exhausted. But I have to do it because it is my calling. God gave me no kids for a reason. There are many mothers out there who are asking God day in and day out. Lord, give me the fruit of the womb. God bless my womb. Lord, bless me. I leave. Let me just get one child. And God bless me with four of them. I mean, five of them. I have to be a good role model to them. I have to set a good example for my husband. Someday my husband and I would not see eye to eye. But God says in his word, whoever finds a wife finds a good thing. We homemaker, it's not easy. We have to homeschool our kids. We have to homeschool our children. And I want you to, I want you to know today, whatever your child is, whatever your trials and temptation is, and maybe you lost your son, you lost your wife, you lost your daughter, you lost your mother like I have. I just lost my mother like I told you guys earlier. You lost your lifetime partner. It's not easy to lose the person you love so much. I know what it feels. I'm going through it. Some days I feel good. Some days I feel horrible. Some days it just clicked in my head that my mother is no more. Like this month, the 19th of this month, August 19th, I was having my devotion with God. I was in my quiet time reading my Bible. And all of a sudden I started crying. I started crying and I started crying so hard to God. I started crying so hard. I couldn't understand why my soul was crying. My soul was weeping so bad. I couldn't understand. I could not stop myself from crying. Later on, my husband told me, August 19 makes my mother three months of not being with us physically, but being with the Lord. I have a question to all my mother. Are you loving this content? If you are loving this content, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. And also do me a favor and thumbs this video up so you two can share this video with, your, with our mothers, the community of mommy, okay? And share this video with your friends and family. So my husband told me, oh, today make mom three months of not being with us. Now I realize why my soul was weeping. I want to tell you, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Cry. Grieve. You lost someone. You lost something that means the world to you. When the time comes for you to grieve, when the period comes for you to grieve, grieve. Don't let nobody put the deadline of your grieving. Don't let nobody tell you, it's been six months, why are you still grieving? It's been two years, why are you still grieving? Everybody grieves differently. It's okay. And one thing I want you to know is God is with you. He said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Whatever you are going through, all you need to do is sit still and you will hear my voice. You will see my hand in your work, in the work. At that moment, the water seems still. The smoke is so thick, you can't see ahead of you. I am with you. He said, I will never give you anything you cannot handle. He said, in the days of darkness, I will be with you. In the days of trouble, he said, call upon me and I will answer you. My mothers, if you are not a mom, this video is also for you. Whatever you are going through today, 
Do not go seeking answers in the world. Do not go find comfort in the world. God is not in the world. Jesus is not in the world. The answer you are looking for, run to Christ. Run to his hand. Jesus said to his disciples, I come, let me die on the cross. It would be better if I leave, if I die and go. Why? So I can send you a helper. Someone that will be with you day in and day out. Jesus has sent you the helper. Call upon that helper. He is there to guide you. That's my son, my four-year-old son. He's baking with me. He said, I will be with you. Call on that helper, my sister. Whatever you are going through right now, call on that helper. Call on God. Say, Lord Jesus, I don't understand this. I don't understand why you got to take my son so soon. I don't understand why you got to take my mom so soon. I don't understand why you got to take my wife, my husband, my loved one. Why you got to take them so soon? I don't understand. My brother and sister, let me tell you, my mothers, those are the questions I ask God. He said, ask me, seek my face in the days of trouble, seek me. Let me tell you, God is not mad at you that you are asking him questions. He wants us to ask him and he will explain to us. He said in his word, if you don't ask, you will not find. He said, those who knock, they they, the door will be open unto you to them. He says, seek and you shall find. Ask him. You don't understand what is going on. You don't understand why your loved one have to leave you so soon. Ask him. You don't understand why your child got to be born with sickness. You don't understand why your child got to get cancer. You don't understand why you got to bury your child, your husband, your daughter, your wife. You don't understand. Ask him. He will explain to you. He will give you that comfort, that peace that you are seeking. But I'm here to tell you today, do not go seeking the peace in the world. He is not in the world. God is not in the world. Jesus is not in the world. Don't seek peace in the world. Don't seek comfort in the world. It will just be for a moment. But the sorrow will come back. If you seek God's face in the days of trouble and trials and temptation, he will comfort you forever and ever. I want to leave you with this. Whatever you are going through, whatever you are going through, God is with you. You are not alone. If you love this content, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. Share this video with your friend. Leave me a comment down below, okay? We are homemakers. We are daughter of Zion, daughter of Oak. Christ. Don't be a stranger to come back to my platform. When you come here, you will find a motivation. Whatever I'm cleaning, I'm cooking, definitely it's going to be motivational, God-fearing, inspirational. It's going to help you live your. Do not be a stranger to my platform. I'll see you guys. Stay blessed. I love you.